Hello, thank you for joining us today. I'm Dr. Peter Caravella, this is Dr. Jimmy Shu. We are general surgeons here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we specialize in robotic surgery. We wanted to take a moment to answer some of the most common questions about robotic surgery. Robotic surgery is surgery utilizing small keyhole incisions to perform complex robotic motions. Um, this is done within the human abdomen, and it is similar to laparoscopic surgery, but it has the added advantage of the robotic instruments, which allows us to do more complex motion as opposed to the straight stakes. Also, robotic surgery offers three-dimensional vision, whereas standard laparoscopes only offer two-dimensional vision, and therefore the surgeon can see much more clearly and with much more accuracy and perform more precise surgery. Because the incisions we use are so small, robotic surgery patients tend to have less recovery time, less pain, less wound complications, and less hernia rates. That's a common question. Does the robot actually do the surgery? The answer is no. The surgeon does the surgery, and what happens is the surgeon inserts instruments into the body through what are called trocars, through the small keyhole incisions. Once those instruments are in the body, the surgeon controls the robot, which controls the arms within the body. We can do it with 3D vision and wrist articulation, which gives us much more precise and accurate movements. If the surgeon decides to stop, scratch his nose, answer a phone, the robot will not move and will never move without the control of the surgeon behind it. The most common surgeries performed by a general surgeon on the robot are inguinal hernia repairs, gallbladder removal, umbilical or ventral hernia repairs, hiatal hernia repairs, and colon resections. There are also other subspecialists including OBGYNs who do hysterectomies, urologists who do prostate removals, and even, even partial nephrectomies or kidney removals. But the limits of general surgery have not been reached with the robot. As more and more surgeons utilize the robot and get more comfortable with it, the capabilities of what it can do will increase as well. It is crucial that you ask your surgeon whether or not he or she can perform robotic surgery. If they only offer open or laparoscopic surgery, I would ask them if robotics is an option. Having done thousands of both open laparoscopic and robotic surgeries, I personally see a huge difference in my patient outcomes with the robot. They have a quicker recovery, much less pain, almost no opioid uses, which in this day and age is crucial, and they get back to work much sooner. All that being said, if your surgery is not being done robotic, you should definitely ask why. Personally, I would never ask a surgeon to do something on me that he or she wasn't truly comfortable doing or hasn't done many of. I would simply find a different surgeon uh, who has committed the time and experience into the learning curve of robotic surgery. If you have any further questions about robotic surgery or just like to get a consultation regarding a particular procedure, please feel free to contact us at the number below. Thank you. Thank you.